Hi friends, welcome to Ajay Automation channel. In this video, let's quickly see about one automation interview question asked in many interviews and I have seen many candidates struggle to answer this question. So let's correct it. So the question is, what are the coding standards you follow as a test automation developer? So as an automation engineer, we need to make sure we follow certain coding styles and standards. Okay, so let's review quickly. So we need to follow certain coding conventions for better coding standards like we need to provide meaningful names for method names and variable names there should not be any short keywords okay so the method names and variable names should be relevant to the test you are writing and it will be better if you have jira id along with your test so that someone new to your team can understand which user story this test is mapping to okay and we need to follow either camel case or snake case naming standards camel case meaning the first letter of the variable name or method name start with small letter and the connecting word start with the capital letter okay snake case meaning in the connecting word there will be an underscore in between the text okay and uh, add comments wherever necessary avoid redundant comments avoid adding same comments for same logic again and again okay and then we have to follow proper spacing and indentation strategy so consider in this class there are two tests one is formatted in this manner and the another test is form formatted in different manner this shouldn't be the case all the tests should have followed proper spacing and indentation strategies okay so and the next one is we need to avoid deep nesting as much as we can and we have to keep the iterations as simple as we can deep destiny deep nesting meaning we have to avoid mul writing multiple conditions and multiple loops for a same test okay because that part of code will be difficult to read and understand for code reviewers or others who are viewing the code okay so try to avoid deep nesting as much as we can and then avoid code duplication that is code reusability consider there is one test which is common for all your automation test okay consider this 404 error verification which might be common for all your automation tests we have to write this test in your test based class and call this method to all your automation test so that we can save like thousand lines of code if you have thousand class files okay similarly for example you will be having launch browser code right for all your automation tests this is a common code for all your tests so put it inside the base class and call only the method name in another test automation test in that way we can save like uh, 10 lines of code for almost all your class files okay so we have to avoid code re uh, avoid code duplication as much as we can okay and then you can talk about following design principles like oops concepts in your automation framework for better coding standards okay so oops concept like polymorphism inheritance encapsulation abstraction make our code base more readable and organizable it improves our code reusability and we follow solid principles through oops concepts which improves our code organization okay and then we have to refactor our code regularly for better performance remove unwanted lines of code like sleep commands etc okay so then we can talk about establishing branching strategy in your test automation project so you can talk like you have established a branching strategy where initial code comments will be done in your local branches and after pr review you will be merging it to the master branch okay so we have to ensure regular code check-ins and follow code review process for better coding standards this is really important okay so finally you can talk about code documentation so with documentation new users or new candidates can understood about your automation framework quickly we have to document about how we are writing your selenium test how we are storing objects how we are passing test data how cacd pipeline is working so everything about the automation framework and selenium test should be documented in a wiki page or in any word documents okay so then if you have code coverage integrated with your selenium test like if you have integrated with sonar cube at Coco, you can talk about that also okay so these are the certain important things you have to answer for this coding standards question so i hope this uh, video will be really useful for you for your upcoming interviews so please do subscribe my channel ajay automates for more automation training related videos thank you have a good day bye